You have just seconds. Concrete is the only thing between you and safety. And David Camberreri is the one to get you there. At least that's what he's thinking about. He's really just training. The real thing could come soon, now that hurricane season is here. There's always that possibility that um, a storm, a natural disaster, uh, a disaster that was brought to us from uh, forces unknown um, could all bring us together to do this. David's usually a firefighter and paramedic, but he's also a member of the Southwest Florida Urban Search and Rescue Team. And I bring my specialty to the team and so do other people, and we've all volunteered for this. David and his teammates aren't just training to make sure they know how to use the equipment. They also have to make sure the equipment works. This isn't your chainsaw that you have in your garage. It costs thousands of dollars. You have to wear special gear to use it. And you have to train for 80 hours before you can use it in the field. That training also goes for this, a core drill. It bores a hole so rescuers can put a small camera down to see if anyone's trapped. Both the drill and the chainsaw are able to cut through concrete because of diamonds. It's hard to see them because they're tiny little specks, but they're there. And it might be hard to imagine teams would ever need them, but they do, especially in Florida. Homes and buildings are all being constructed primarily of block or reinforced concrete. Which makes David's job that more important. One of these days, it won't be just a drill.